All right, Flyway Mechanic here, and today we got our new G-Scan 2 that I'm going to be using to diagnose this uh, EVAP problem, but more or less just want to show you guys this new new tool. We got this thing's pretty slick. Um, it's more specializes in a lot of the European and Asian, or sorry, uh, a lot of the Asian stuff, not European, but um, let's jump right into this. We're just going to uh, go in and scan this uh hyundai we're working on a hyundai today and the first thing i notice about this thing is it's just super quick super responsive it's all uh it's all touch screen so all right so we get ourselves uh we're working on 2009 hyundai elantra i believe um i pulled codes on this already and already did a little diag but i believe we're looking at a p04 oh shoot i forget p04 something something here we go uh all right so we got a 09 hyundai elantra We'll move here in a minute. Dual word cam. We're gonna go in engine module. Okay. But yeah, you can see how, how quick this thing is. It's um it's a pretty impressive little tool. Kind of the go to go to tool for uh you know just getting in there and looking at some quick diagnostic information. So go with the DTCs. There we go, P0442, that's what it was. Evaporative emissions, small leak detected. And I'm gonna show you guys what um, I found on this here in a second, but I'm just gonna go back and... Yeah, I went ahead and smoked, um, smoked this whole system to make sure there was no leaks I could see. I tested the purge valve to make sure that wasn't leaking at all. Um, also tested the vent valve and all that good stuff. Um, now what I haven't done yet, and that's what I'm about to do now, is come in here to uh, special functions and see if there is a leak test for the evaporative emission system. Which would be nice because then I can just run the test and I'll know if the, um, you know, I'll know if we fixed our problem. And there it is, yep, evap, evap leak test. So um, let me uh, let me show you guys what I found. I'm gonna go ahead and clean clean this up and see, and then we're gonna run that leak test and see if it actually passes. So, but it actually looks like someone's put a gas cap on here once already. Like yeah, the gas cap looks relatively new, but as you can see, there's uh, quite a bit of rust buildup on this seal right here. So we're just gonna take a little emery paper and sand and uh, emery cloth and clean that up. And uh, we're going to run the leak test and see if that uh, takes care of the problem. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I got that uh, um, gas tank uh, filler nozzle all cleaned up. All I did is I just used a little uh, Scotch Brite pad here, and I just got it real nice and clean. And then I actually applied a little uh, silicone. Let's see, uh, just a little silicone to keep that rubber in good condition and hopefully pre prevent that from uh, you know rusting up too too much and honestly if uh, if you don't have any check engine lights or even any problems at all it's not a bad idea to um, just kind of as a maintenance type of thing like you would want to lube your doors and your hood latches you know go around and put a little silicone on that uh, filler neck and if you have to keep it clean with a little piece of emery, emery cloth or a scotch brite pad and that's just going to prevent problems from from the future, you know. All right, so we went ahead and did that. We're going to go into uh, we're going to go ahead and go into this evap test and um, see if this has fixed our P zero four four two. I believe. All right, what's we what do we got here? Evap leak test. This test is used for functionality to check the evap system and. Leakage check. Alright, condition. Vehicle stop, fuel amount 15 to 18, no trouble, idle state, engine warm. If this test does not, if test does not meet prerequisites, test results cannot be trusted. Continue. Cycle off, wait five minutes before retrying this EVAP test. Alright, so this test is not going to run for us. For one, we are not up to operating temperature. And for two, as you can see, we have a full tank of fuel here. So we're probably just going to drive this thing and set the monitors and uh, make sure the code doesn't return. But I'm pretty confident uh, this small evap leak is going to be fixed by, uh, you know, getting that rust out from underneath the gas cap here. Because I didn't find any other issues with this things. But thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button if this was helpful. And um, subscribe to my channel for more uh, 
DIY auto repair videos. Always trying to help you guys out and uh, hopefully save you a little money on your auto repair bills. Till next time.